Back in 1911, there was a baseball team striving to win every single match to avoid their execution. The players in the squad were not so ethical but heinous criminals. It was Wyoming's prison baseball team named Wyoming State Penitentiary's All-Stars. The Wyoming State Penitentiary is a historic and current prison operating since 1901, in Rollins Carbon County, United States. The 12-member squad comprised of three rapists, a forger, five thieves and three murderers, who were already on a death row with set dates for their execution. In Wyoming, United States, back in 1911, the execution of criminals was usually carried out within a few months, without the 10 or 20 year appeal process. So, the only hope the criminals had, was to keep winning to postpone their execution date and add few days to their lives, thanks to the prison's warden Sheriff Felix Alston. Warden Alston was much more humane than his predecessor toward the prisoners, he advocated for the rehabilitation of inmates and allowed them to get outside and work out on prison grounds. While the prisoners were out on the prison ground exercising and playing, Alston noticed some prisoners were incredibly talented and play like professionals. Alston was a great lover of baseball and was also friends with the then governor of Wyoming, Joseph Carey. He sought Carey for his permission to let the men form their baseball team. Governor Carey was a gambler, and he saw a golden opportunity to make a profit from this team and agreed to let the Wyoming State Penitentiary All-Stars form a proper team. The team was given brand new uniforms, and they were treated like professional athletes. For all stars, the prize of winning was not a trophy or money, but it was a few more days added to their lifeline. The first match was set with Wyoming Supply Company Juniors, a popular team among the locality. The stadium was jam-packed on the match day. George Sabin, a convicted murderer who ambushed and shot three sleeping sheep herders each in the face, was nominated as the captain for the match. The WSP All-Stars battered the locals with a score of 11 to 1 and the match was reported in the The Washington Post with the headline, Slayer Scores Home Runs. Joseph Singh, who murdered his girlfriend's husband in hopes that they will be together, was declared as the man of the match. In the next matches that took place, the team managed to stand above its rivals. The All-Stars became immensely popular and fought their way into the Amateur Western Division Championship featuring local teams from a vast region. They won 39 of their 45 games in their 14-month glory days, between March 1911 and May 1912 featuring local teams from a vast region stretching from California across the Rocky Mountains. Joseph Singh scored home runs in almost all the matches he played. Betting and gambling were also running parallel to the games and many were making huge profits. It was estimated that $132,000 were wagered on the team during their 14-month run and three state politicians raised cash for their re-election campaigns by betting on the All-Stars. The death sentences of players were delayed as they continued to win, and it was circulated among players that individual mistakes that cause the team to lose will be penalized and their execution date will be proponed. George Sabin also had a good relationship with the Sheriff Alston who allowed Sabin to come and go from the prison as he pleased in civilian clothes. Whenever he did go, he was accompanied by the prison guard D.O. Johnson. Sabin developed a sideline as a bookie, going to local bars and taking bets on his team's games and a 20% commission from winning bets. He would provide gamblers with updates on the team's standout star, Joseph Singh and status of his appeal. During their glory days, the players started receiving special privileges compared to other prisoners. This does not go well with the other prisoners and they started complaining as to why the execution of players being delayed. Sheriff Alston continued explaining the delays, citing various procedural barriers to law. Wyoming people began spreading rumors that the governor had been involved in this gambling drama. So, he decided to create a new anti-gambling campaign to convince people he was not a part of it. He wrote a letter to Warden Alston showing his concern about the gambling and illegal money-making business out of the games. Warden Alston decided to discontinue his baseball team and instead utilize the funding to create an educational program for inmates. 
but due to the popularity of all stars and the sympathy of people towards Joseph Seng for his dramatic and romantic story, the public responded stunningly. As Seng's execution approached, pleas for mercy poured not only from his mother and his younger brother but also from over 350 people into the governor's office. However, all the appeals were rejected and on May 24, 1912, Seng was hanged. George Sabin managed to escape with help from the guard who had made a fortune from betting on the team and was never recaptured. The other 10 players from the team were executed after Seng. The story of all stars faded into the background. Many higher-ranked people of the town created enormous profits playing on the hopes and dreams of these men by betting and gambling. Joseph Seng got to live a year longer than he should have, but the journey does not yield anything. Reporters from newspapers showed up to witness his execution. The Carbon County Journal, which called the team, the cons, wrote of him, his steps were steady, and he went to his death in a manner which stamped him as a brave man. Read more about this fascinating story in the book Death Row All Stars, a story of baseball, corruption, and murder by Chris Enns. So this is it for this video friends. Thanks for watching. But before you leave let me know what you guys think about the tragic end of this story, did they really deserve the execution after all they been through? If you like the video then don't forget to press the like button, share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to this channel for more such interesting content.